Kings. How y'all doing today? This is Anthony Davis broadcasting to you live. Alright, so I want to go over some video about the secrets of super memory. Very, very important. So we're going to talk about a few things. We're going to break down a good three sections. Okay, so let's go. First, the mind. We all know what the mind is. We all know what memory is. So this video will be giving some tools of how to enhance that memory, okay? So some of the main things we can talk about is about the mind that's all over the world. We know that we have a mind, and we have our own individual mind, which is the conscious mind. Then we have uh, what they call like the super conscious mind, which is the subconscious mind that links everybody together. You know, we're ultimately really, we're really pulling energy from one divine source, you know, whatever you choose to call that source, right? So we all feeding and coming from an infinite intelligence. You see, even the forces of nature, the trees, the birds, the stones, all these things have minds. The, even the earth itself, the planets have, you know, invisible intelligence. Okay, so we can pull from these things and we can know all things because we are the supreme beings in the planet and throughout the universe. Okay, so therefore we know all things, we can do all things. So, getting into some more aspects of the mind, we have, I remember I was, I remember it was coming up um, and, and um, with Pop, AEO, and he, he had a, a part called the intellect and outlet. The intellect was everything you know about inside of this earth, and the intellect was about everything that's like outside of this earth. You know, like uh, like like spiritual knowledge when it comes to space and things like that. You know, different planets, cosmology, basically. So um, when you, even when you study like the law of time, for example, it talks a lot about you know cosmic history. And, you know, a lot of times, you know, we, we talk, we know world history, like, okay, what happened in slavery and, you know, hey, what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma and different black history. But, you know, a lot of times we can't go to pre-earth. We can't get to the level of pre-earth, you see. So that's what we might call outlet and really getting into the cosmic history. So how do you do that? How do you how do you tap into an energy that is beyond you, that existed beyond you at this time and space, right? So what you do is you have to tap into that super, super subconscious mind to pretty much access these things. You know your subconscious mind. So that's what some things. Um, People who work with their ancestors know that their ancestors who live before them will come to them and tell them things about, you know, what has happened in the past and um, pretty much take them back in time. Even a lot of deities can do that. You you call certain deities, work with certain deities, they'll take you literally back in time or they'll take you forward in time or show you, you know, your current situation in time. Very interesting factor. You see, so it's, those are key things. You have to work with these things. Um, also, the Kashic Records. You know, the Kashic Records is basically the light, you know, the light hall, the light dictionary. It, it, it is, you know, this, this all-knowing, you know, <laughs> process that's in embedded in our genetics, in our mind. We shall know everything. Okay, so that was just kind of like an introduction aspect. So I get into a few tips and to helping extend the super mind, the super conscious, okay? So some of the first things like I was taught and which really helped for me, and um, I really highly suggest for other people, um, for those who need this information, this is for people who need this information, okay? So what I will highly suggest is like a form of spiritual head cleansing, like a head cleansing. Um, you might also be familiar with it as like a crown chakra cleansing, or in some traditions you might call it a feeding your ori or cleansing your ori, right? So it's very important to do that because we have so much just energy coming at us as society through technology, radiation, and then, you know, just a lot of things that just circles our head, you know, that whole quote unquote you know, dark cloud over your head concept. You know, you want to pretty much make sure your auric field 
is is very much in a good standing with self because you want to pretty much have that crown that light beaming so bright that you're able to instantly know anything you see so that's one big thing i suggest like just start your this process off with a, a good cleansing um if you need details for cleansing we can do a consultation for you inbox me or contact me for details also, if you're in different locations, other priests and priests are available as well. Contact them for your for head cleansing. So that can kind of get you started. But ultimately, you know, you want to pretty much what we should be doing anyway is doing our pineal gland work. You know, pretty much the whole science when it comes to activating and unlocking our pineal gland. You know, that, that eye, you know. So, um, hey... So that's what we want to do. Whatever sciences you know when it comes to that, um, pretty much everything. All the work that you hear on YouTube and Facebook, do it all. Try it all. That is, that is positive, you know, and and see what works for you. Because some things unlock certain things at times. Some things unlock certain things for certain people. Try it all. Because it's all good information, you know. Of course, the water is very good. You know, the more we cleanse, the more we detox, you know, certain water. And water automatically keeps us balanced in our body. So, therefore, the more more we're drinking good water, more filtered water, it, it pretty much keeps our mind in a certain place and vibrating healthy to receive information fluidly. Okay? Um, let's go. So breath, you want to make sure you developing high levels of chi, your prana, your breath. You want to, you know, the more you do certain breath activities, techniques, um, it will really increase your psychic awareness. So therefore, you know things. And even if you uh, might not, you know, sometimes we look at memory as a past thing, but just simply to know things that that come around you you know at that certain time and space so one is breath make sure you're really doing you know your yoga your daily meditations it's a lot of different people that's putting out a lot of good information on that so follow it all right another point is um what i put the ohm sound oh man brother pan um, a lot of people has done a lot of good information about that um just the ohm sound that ohm has basically will put you in the game. You know, that will unlock that door of Akashic Records. And it will pretty much, if you own every day for the rest of your life, man, you will see a dramatic difference in your life. I'm telling you, it really works, for real. Okay, so that's about a good tool. Um, also, what I found very interesting, what I've been doing too, is um, sigils, sigil, uh, memory sigil. Take one sigil, you know, maybe just put memory, do the whole breakdown or whatever you want to put, super memory, and do a sigil for your memory. So, therefore, when you're breathing, you're visualizing that symbol. And also, when you're oming, you're visualizing that symbol to let your mind know that, hey, I'm going to retrieve some information and then go into a different file. Do whatever else you need to do. All right. So that's three. Um, also, herbs, certain herbs that's good. For you, if you don't have access to them, inbox me for them. Um, you got cola nuts, which is very good for super memory. They will let you know a lot of things. You eat them or you grind them up, cook with them, boil them, many, many things. Carry them. Those are good for you. Cola nuts, um, go-to cola, bitter cola, regular cola. Also, um, rose smelling rosemary or smelling different herbs or aromas unlock the the frequency of memory. Okay, what else we got? Um, um, what do you call this? Yes, it's that one. So basically, if you take if you take if you take this herb, I promise you, it is so good. Then ginkgo biloba, ginkgo biloba. Oh man, it is so good. I'm talking about. I've tried it several times and it really works. Now I don't know if it's just because just because I'm just activating it by meditating over it and you know speaking into it, but I'm telling you, that ginkgo binoco is really hitting. You know, and sometimes we're not talking about we're not talking about simple memory like oh, do I remember 
you know, something silly, something just completely mundane. Like, do I remember what the news station or, or something just silly? We're talking about divine memory. We're not talking about just regular day to day. Oh, I'm going to know everything I look at. I'm just going to remember everything. Like, no, we're talking about real divine memory, things that you just won't be able to process on the regular, you know. And, um, you know, it's just so interesting. <laughs> so they, um, that herb is very good. Cinnamon, um, star anise, all these herbs are good for that. You know, and sometimes even when you, 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 you use these things, they really, really increase the value of what you're doing. All right. So, um, crystals too. Oh man, crystals are so good. You got, um, um, quartz crystals, amethyst, pyrite. I mean, so many crystals you can use to increase the memory. It's just, it's just ridiculous. You can also make a crown crystal right crystal crown for your head and if you keep these certain crystals on your pineal and around your mind your head they will help keep that awareness you go to sleep with them man you have some crazy dreams you'll be you'll be gone you know so if you need help um i know some sisters who make really good crystal jewelry that can get you the crown i can do it as well but i refer to sisters who do it um on a consistent level so I can refer you to them. They're, that stuff really works, you know. Or you can just carry them. You know, they say you can carry them when you go into your exams, taking tests, and doing certain things that require you to know certain things at that time. It's all spirit, you see. Um, so what else? Those are pretty much the main things with that. So I get into a few of my personal testimonies. And my, some of my personal testimonies is that when I have done taking some of these memory potions or whatnot you can um man like when it comes to the dreams you can really see the difference in your dreams you can see the fact that how like my mind will literally be filtering out old things old thoughts things that just really don't serve you just random stuff you sing your mind would be actually filtering these things out it actually reminds me of like spam emails or like junk mail or cookies clearing out your cookies it really reminds me of that like if our mind is like a computer and sometimes you just have things backed up like you do certain cleansings and take these potions like they really really filter you it's, it's very interesting because you know we are things are this is on the energetic level you know this is not something that you can just learn necessarily from school okay another thing that's good is programming your mind if you hear something you learn something immediately keep telling it to yourself keep programming certain things in your mind right also and that's why rituals are good because the more and more you do rituals the more and more you're consistent in the things that you do the more and more you build the mind muscle into the, the matter of the situation and you say hey i remember this or you know that 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 jump factor is really on, on key you see so, oh, it's um, a brother. I, I don't know the brother's name. I wish I knew the brother's name. I'll try to contact him. But he has suggested in E5 where you take go, um, you take the Goku powder, um, okay, and you pretty much you mark the old dudes in the powder, pray over them, and increase the memory. I did that technique, and it works. So I'm talking about basically it's a hundred different types of things you can do to increase your super memory and try it, you know, see what works for you. You know, we're not talking about, once again, just silly stuff about memory, you know, like, oh, sh you know, we're not talking about certain things like that. Um, even even for your elders, if certain elders have Alzheimer's now for on a simple level, that will help them if you do certain things for them. But if you have a full conscious mind, I mean, you you want to get into the, you know, going back in time or, you know, traveling. You want to take your memory to a different level. You know, put yourself in a position of what it was some years ago or what you need to know who you were years and thousands of years ago through this whole reincarnation process. Stuff like that. Um, also, I have a very good product called Brain Power. I offer it part of my services. You can contact me for the details. And brain power is a homeopathy herb that we use through spirology. 
And if you take this product and you pretty much take it, I should have seen shown you some samples. If you contact me, I I'd be doing some free samples. And basically, you take this, you spray it under your tongue, and I guarantee you, it will unlock that pineal gland. It will give it a lot more activity, and it will increase your mental power. I guarantee it. Okay, so contact me for the details on brain power as well. So I love you all. I went a little bit longer than I expected. Peace and blessings to you all. And let's talk. Let's do a good consultation. Let's get you started for you and your youth or your family, your friends, your elders. And let's go. Peace and blessings. And I'll share.